Hello, welcome to our screencast lesson for homework number four. Um, this title of this little block would, would probably be best called Work and Energy. You're going to need uh, some scratch paper, a pencil, and a calculator, so you might want to pause and uh, gather those materials before we get started. So what is work? If we were to look up work uh, in a dictionary, you'd get a fairly technical definition, something that would read like this, the transfer of energy to a body by the application of a force that moves the body in the direction of the force. It is calculated as a product of the force and the distance through which the body moves. Phew! Um, what are the important parts of this little definition? Well, first of all, let's take a look at a couple key terms. Energy. So it's the transfer of energy. We'll talk more about energy later on in the presentation. And how do we transfer that energy? We use it by applying a force to some body, in other words, an object, a thing. And we have to move it, again, in the same direction as that force. And if we move it using that force over a distance, we've done some work. I think we could probably say it a little bit more clearly if we um, say it something like in this way. Work is determined by multiplying the force acting on an object by the distance the object moves. So when you push a, um, a boulder across the yard, I don't, a silly uh, example, but I mean more, more like let's say if you, if you had to mow your own lawn, so you, when you're pushing that lawnmower, the lawnmower um, is covering some distance and you are using a force to move it, so therefore you are doing work. And we can calculate the work, the work by measuring the amount of force being used and multiplying it by the distance over which we're moving the object. So work equals force times distance and we would write it in algebra like this. W equals, in algebraic format, W equals F times D. So that reads again as work equals force times distance. All right, let's do a sample problem. What I suggest that you do is you read the problem and pause Take out your calculator, pencil, and take a stab at this homework. At, I'm sorry, homework, this sample problem. Uh, use the GRASP format, and then uh, restart to see how to do it. All right, how'd it go? Here's how to solve this type of problem. So your car is stuck in the mud. A tow truck is needed to pull it out. If the tow truck applies a force of 1,500 newtons to the car, and the car moves 200 meters, how much work it was done by the tow truck? All right, so let's solve it using GRASP. Got a couple of different words here. Well, just one, really, substitution instead of solve. Um, so what are our givens? Our givens are that the force equals 1,500 newtons. The distance equals 200 meters. Keep in mind, for this formula to work, we must have the force in newtons, and we must have the distance in meters. The distance will only, this problem will only work, this formula only works if we've converted whatever distance we've been given to meters. What are we solving for? In this case, work equals question mark. What's our formula? Work equals force times distance. Substitute or solve. So work equals 1,500 newtons times 200 meters. Pump it into a calculator, and the solution is 300,000 joules. Quite a bit of work or energy. Uh, keep in mind, uh, where are we getting these, this joule from? A joule is one joule is equivalent to one newton meter. So you can see the n newton times the meter. One newton meter is exactly equivalent to one joule. So paraphrase our solution, the tow truck has done 300,000 joules of work to pull the car out of the mud. So again, keep that in mind, our units of work, or energy in this case, the J stands for the word joule, and you'll see more of that, you'll learn more about that when you do the reading uh, part of this assignment. All right, let's do another sample problem. Again, I suggest that you pause and on scratch paper, take your own best stab at solving this problem, and then come back and watch, uh, watch the solution. Okay, how'd it go? Did you get it done? Great, let's solve it. So how much energy is used if, while helping a friend move into their new house, you use 45 newtons of force to lift their 50 kilogram television up 500 centimeters and into a moving van? All right, a slightly trickier problem here. I used a couple little different words and uh, threw in a couple other little things here. And this is a really good example of why GRASP is such a good um, uh, problem-solving method. So what's given here? So we know, again, our for a force, a force of 45 newtons is used, and we have a distance of 500 centimeters. 
the mass of the of the object strangely doesn't matter the mass of the object does not go into the calculations i suppose you could write down the mass equal to 50 kilograms if you wanted but i think that might you might find that confusing at least in this particular case where we know that we're looking to calculate the energy or the work um, required to complete this task so f equals force 45 newtons see here uh, notice that i converted the five, 500 centimeters into five meters so there's 100 centimeters in every meter, so pretty easy conversion. And I've got everything where I need to be. What am I solving for again? Work equals question mark. Formula, work equals force times the distance. Solve it, work equals 45 newtons times five meters. Calculator tells me it equals 225 joules. Again, one newton meter equals a, equals a joule. So paraphrase my solution. You have done 225 joules of work lifting the television into the moving van. What? What's going on here between the work, using of the word work and the use of the word energy? Well, um, it's a little bit of a, of a tricky concept here, but in this case, energy, um, which is the ability to do work, um, so, you know, it's a decent enough analogy. It's not exactly spot on, um, but going back to pushing that lawnmower across the lawn, you would not be able to do that if you hadn't eaten some food, gained some chemical energy with which you can use to create that force, the force that's needed to move the lawnmower. So there you are. When a force does work on an object, when you push the lawnmower, the energy of the object will be changed by amount equal to the amount of work done. So that's a little bit of, of kind of like definition by flipping the words back and forth. But the energy of the object, so a better example might be lifting something up. So if it takes me, um, you know, like back with lifting up that television, if it took us 225 joules of energy or work to lift the television up 500 centimeters, um, for instance, um, five meters, which would be really hard to do, um, I have given that television that much potential energy. So now if somebody just pushed it off the edge and it dropped five meters, that's how much energy it would give off, so to speak. Um, so this is pretty fancy looking, but it simply means that work, W, equals delta E. And in physics and in chemistry and lots of areas of science, we use this Greek symbol delta to represent change. So work essentially equals the change in energy. So again, I can understand. You're still probably like, what? Um, so let's try it this way. So when we're calculating work, we are also actually calculating how much energy was required for the work to be accomplished. So in a lot of ways, for our purposes, at least in this unit, for our, for our studies, work and energy mean virtually the same thing. So if I'm doing work, it's the actual application of the energy. So when you're calculating work, in a sense, you're calculating the, the actual use of the energy via the force to move an object. And then energy is kind of like what was used or expended in order to do that amount of work. Uh, but it all comes down to this little middle part here. For our purposes, you can really, we can think of work and energy as meaning virtually the same thing, the slight difference meaning where they're at. So work is the actual application of the force, and then energy was what was needed to do that work. Um, this will probably be something we'll talk a little bit more during uh, one of our Wednesday direct lessons.